Maine Atlantic salmon shooting down the hose. It's their first trip into a flowing river in Piscataquis County. We still have salmon and they're awesome and they are magical and incredible creatures and we have them right here. Right here along the Piscataquis River. These smolts raised in the Green Lake National Fish Hatchery now swimming in fresh water. Oliver Cox has watched them grow. A little over 8,000 fish on each truck um, and so we'll be discharging the fish in the water that's in this truck through our, our discharge hose into the river. But these fish won't be here for long. The 25,000 smolts are expected to grow, venture out to the ocean, and then return back to Maine's waterways. Well, the ultimate goal is to increase the natural production in the river here for Atlantic salmon. This coming after a decrease in naturally spawned Atlantic salmon due to the industrialization along Maine's rivers. Dan McCaw manages the Penobscot Nation Fisheries Program and hopes that this can allow the species to return to what it was years ago. And we can have a wild spawning, naturally reared uh, salmon in our rivers instead of relying on the hatchery over and over and over again. It's a mission that will require years of work, but it's a plan the state is on board with. We're hoping to, you know, have salmon kind of encounter the, the dams below here, work with the towns, have people in the towns see that this is an important river for salmon, and then hopefully we can make some improvements. Improvements that can help with restocking in years to come and ensure that Atlantic salmon remains an important fish in Maine's water. It's the last big stronghold for salmon, so we're, we are putting a lot of energy into this river. Energy with a very modest goal. If just 50 adult salmon return to the Piscataquis River in two years, people here today will call this release a success. In Guilford, Sean Stackhouse, News Center, Maine.